Like all the videos on Psych and Catch channel are made possible by fans like you. Totally. Okay, someone speedrun it in two hours and five minutes. That sounds more accurate. FF1 on the GBA is super, super easy compared to the original NES version. And yet still less buggy. <laughs> Is it like the uh, old Itadaki Streets, where it's just the um, Dragon Quest and Final Fantasy characters, or are they doing a new thing with it? I wouldn't mind another Nintendo mashup, because that would mean that we'd get it. It is Dragon Quest and Final Fantasy. That's cool. I'm okay with that. I've been meaning to import some of the other ones. If Noctis is... Okay, Noctis is in it. Garen's gonna be super excited. Garen loves Final Fantasy 15. I think it's half the reason he was excited for a road trip to California. We get to go on a road trip? <laughs> it's not going to be the same kind. <laughs> not near as exciting. All right. In the words of Emil from Halo Reach, I'm ready to die. Are you? I have no expectations for this fight to go well. <laughs> yes, that link worked, Abyss. Gu comes out late 2017. I was kind of hoping for 2018 and possibly giving me enough time to play through the original .hack series. Apparently not the case. Imperia, I did the things. I got the stuffs. Empower the staff, let's go. Have you collected all of the orbs? I have. I too have found what I was looking for, and have not long since returned. I wish to impart to you that which I have found. But I cannot do so like this. Please arrange your items so that you can each carry one more. <laughs> then I will impart. <laughs> it's time to save the world, but your bags are too full. Um, things you're not gonna use. Frizz. We're not going to be using Frizz. Put that shit away, Angelo. Jessica, Jessica, Jessica. Probably not going to make use of that Icicle Dirk. Okay. Let's try that again. Is it worth getting the remasters when they come out? So the interesting thing about the remaster that's coming out is while it's going to be a compilation of three pretty hard-to-find games for the PS2, it's actually the sequel series... There's four games that come before the GU series. Uh, Infection, Mutation, Outbreak, and Quarantine. And they're excellent games and totally worth playing. But unfortunately, really the only way to play them is on the PS2. And Quarantine, last I checked, was like a hundred something dollars. So emulation's probably the way to go. Since for whatever reason, they aren't remaking the original series. Tales of Berseria, I hear really good things about it. Maybe I'll be more interested in the Tales series after playing Eternal Sonata. Why am I still talking to them? I know to walk over to the perch. I have located that which may be this world's last hope. Now, I entrust it to you. The scepter! 
the scepter of Trodane. Careful with that. It's full of focus. Focus. Don't touch it. There is no cause for alarm. The scepter no longer harbors Rapthorn's soul. Now it holds only the souls of the Seven Sages. Over the passage of its long history, the truth behind this scepter has been lost. In the beginning, it was crafted by the hands of the Seven Sages under my instruction. And they gave it a name. They called it the Godbird Scepter. You will need it if you are to break the dark shield around Rapthorn. Only when it is broken will he become vulnerable. Only then can you fight him. I will fly you to his location. The Lord of Darkness will engage you in mortal combat. Mortal combat! Bum 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 bum. But you Sorry. must endure his attacks as you pray for the power of the scepter. When the four of you pray for its power in unison, one by one, you will summon the souls of the sages to unlock the power of the orbs. I can give you no more advice. Do you understand what you must do when you face the Lord of Darkness? Yes, totally. Oh, uh, Zio, the if you're gonna if you're planning on buying the GU remake and you want to get into the anime, the anime to watch is somebody in chat will know it. But there's one that's an actual it's a prequel series to GU that has a lot of characters from GU and it kind of you know it leads up to the events of the game and that's a good place to start. Raul, I'm glad I'm not the only one who did the Mortal Kombat theme. Then we cannot afford to delay this battle any longer. Are you ready? I am ready. Ish. We could have better gear and possibly be maybe slightly higher level. But, you know, I, I am a Dragon Quest veteran and I'm sure that we will be able to um, crawl through this. Roots! Thank you, Abyss. Dot hack roots. You must fight him now. Take the scepter. It feels so weird having Mori in the team instead of Yangus. But with Yangus on fisticuffs, Mori on claws just seems so much better. Let's go! Let's go! I hate round one because we don't really get any music. Round one. Fight! Okay, everybody. 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 Listen to me. Listen to me. What am I doing? Godbird Scepter, there. So we're going to get set up just a little bit more. We're going to Sage's Stone, and let's drop a Acceleratal in case we do need to do any panic healings. Uh, he does get two attacks per turn. It looks like Kaboom wasn't too bad. That one can do some damage, especially if it focuses in on one character. 
That's slightly annoying, but not actually too bad. Okay. Now we can Scepter again. It's just really the best way to go about using the Scepter is keep your HP above 90% and Scepter as much as you can. Since you're wasting a lot of time and effort getting everybody to pray to the Scepter on the same turn, which if this is your first time playing the game, yes, all four people need to pray to the Scepter on the same turn for it to work once, and you need to do it seven times. So it's really important to just worry about keeping your health up. Don't waste time trying to keep all of your buffs up, because the disruptive wave's enough that it's not worth it when you're still just trying to get to phase two of the fight. Aw, oh, Abyss, you didn't like Legend of the Twilight Bracelet? <laughs> I really like Twi Legend of the Twilight Bracelet. It's not canon. Like, at least. <laughs> at all. At all. It's not canon at all, but it's fun. I like it. But that one you definitely need to play, uh... GU first. Okay, let's have you... Full heal. Poor Angelo. Defend. Defend. Multi-heal. Defend. Hit people who are defending. Yeah. Frustrating. Just gotta pick our time. That's fine, you can do that. Now laugh. No, meteors. Meteors are okay, meteors don't do too much damage. Alright, staff again. Suck. We're okay. <sighs> defend, defend, scepter, hustle dance. That is so funny, sped up. That's fine. You just keep. Doing that. Even better! What? No! No, 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 no! That was supposed to be Sage's Stone! God dang it! <sighs> Defend. Defend. Might as well multi heal now. God dang it. Here, Timberl of Tension while we're there. That'll improve his multi heal. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Larder Warrior. <laughs> It wouldn't be a final boss fight if I didn't screw something up. Angelo, please live. I'll take it.
Right, Mel? Like, maybe just have every individual prayer? Or maybe make it so that only one character can hold the scepter? And they have to pray every turn? So even then, you still have to last seven turns of it. I don't know. Oh, yes. Zodiac Age is going to be so good. And unfortunately, I'm not going to be playing it when it comes out. I'll just... I'm going to have to wait on that one, too. No. Nope. Nope. You, Scepter. It is Scepter time. Angelo, I'm expecting you to survive whatever he does, because we do need to get back to praying to this Scepter. We're not even halfway there yet. We're almost halfway. Anyone but Angelo. I'll take it. Thank you. Actually, yeah, Jess has really good elemental defense right now. Not Angelo! Don't you dare. Okay. You full heal Jess. Mori, there's not really much for you to do, buddy. You defend. Angelo, you multi-heal. Jess, you defend. Okay. Mori and Jess, please. Perfect. Thanks, buddy! Oh, there's a Kaboom to follow. The Earth-Shattering Kaboom. Where's the Kaboom? I used to be able to do Marvin the Martian when I was like 15. Showing my age again. Talking about them Looney Tunes. Gall darn kids today don't know about them Looney Tunes. Was that five? Space rocks and laughing. Defend, defend, multi heal, defend. Kaboom's all right. I ain't gonna do much. Alright, two more times. I actually feel like we're making good time on the scepter. I know this feels like it's taking forever, but I feel like it's actually going faster than the last time I played. I want to say I was better prepared last time. I might just be thinking of the post-game fight, though. Once more. Ew, Kafrizzle. I was really hoping that he was just gonna, like, laugh and disruptive wave. Laugh? Yes! We can do it! <laughs> okay, let's get to the actual freaking fight. We got... He was, uh, very generous there. Space rocks. Earth shattering kaboom. Yeah, we were very lucky with the RNG. Not one turn did he use his scepter twice. When he throws the orb, it sucks when he throws his scepter twice, or when he hits like Jessica twice with it, she's just, she's dead.
My beloved kin, we sages have done all that we can. Now our dear world, our future lies in your hands. Protect it well. We will be watching you. Farewell, my beloved kin. Farewell, Imperia. Thank you so freaking much. All right. Meddling pests, how much more of my time will you waste? You will rot in hell by breaking my shield of darkness. But first, you will taste the true might of my flesh and blood. You shall taste the terror eternal. Even death shall offer you no respite. Okay, boss music. Which is okay.